And this is what we're going to be building. It's uh, a relatively simple 3D patch in terms of touch designer's capabilities, but for an introduction, it lets you touch almost all aspects of it and control things as it goes. In this example, we have a generic background that is some scrolling cubes that all have a random value and color based on uh, some random parameters. We then have this shape in the middle that we're able to warp and deform slightly or change altogether that is being driven, uh, its size, rotation, and color are all currently being driven in real time by an audio file that I have added, analyzed, and then used to drive certain parameters. So we can see when it's not playing anything, it goes very small and stays steady in the center. So we're gonna build this and we're gonna build exactly what we see in front of us to some version. And then you are gonna be tasked with trying out, say using different shapes, different colors, different methods of changing the color and analyzing your audio inside Touch Designer. So I'm gonna exit out of what we call the performance mode and just show you the sort of thing that we're looking at. So what we actually have is a 3D scene that has this moving colored wall in the background and then a camera looking at, so we have our camera looking at our shape, looking at our wall that then has a bunch of different things happening to it inside this network. All this green stuff down here is data as we talked about in the last one or values. And these are values that are being made from the audio track that comes in over here. We then have these blue ones that are the shapes that control the shape that we see on the screen. So when I click it, it flicks through these four and changes what we see. I then have these purple ones here that are the output from our camera. So this is actually the very last stage of the whole network in front of us. And we can see this is the final output that is the background here. Somewhere down here on the left, we have all the buttons that we are seeing on the screen. And these lay over the top of a specially set up background that we'll get to later on. We then have a special camera and light that are represented in the scene. You can see when I click it, it goes green. This is our actual camera that is looking at all of our 3D shapes. And then at the top here, I have some special data in chop form and data and data form that allows us to make this fancy scrolling wall effect. So some of these are actually quite complex touch designer theories or implementations, but I'm going to walk you step by step the building of these. And then the hope is that you explore how we have done that in your own time, hopefully build something a bit more exciting than what I've presented to you here.